yeah. helpful for everyone. Thank you. Uh, Henrik, I know you didn't uh, face a lot of uh, <laughs> shots tonight, but uh, you talked about a couple saves you did make, especially that one where you're kind of flailing around in the second period on a deflected puck. Uh, yeah, well, um, we, we played so well the entire game. Uh, so for me, it was more about just being focused on the few shots they had. And, and um, in the second period, yeah, they, they animated a great play. We just had a tough bounce and uh, tried to just react on it. Had a little luck there. But uh, it was just such a great feeling to see how we responded from the last game. And, um, third period, I think we played our best period of the playoffs. And, and when it mattered the most, guys really stepped up and, and it was it was awesome to be back there and see the way we took charge and, and earned this victory. Hey guys, if you could both answer this, but I wonder if uh, you consider how the year started and someone told you at some point in the in November that you'd be standing here going to the cup finals, what would have been your reaction at that time? Well, I think, uh, yeah, I mean, you never know what can happen in a year. I, I think on paper and the way we felt uh, going into the season, uh, we felt confident that, you, you know, we all know now if you just get in and get hot. Um, but then we had the start that we had, so um, got a little uh, little sneaky there for a while. Um, you know, uh, there was some there were some down moments this year. Um, to be honest, uh, it took a while to get everybody going, and uh, you know, it was a testament to the group. And I think it just kind of mirrored our whole season, our playoffs, everything. It just seemed like uh, we never really uh, let it get to us too much, where we lost it, and. Uh, you know, we kept battling and figured it out, and we figured it out to get a chance to win the cup. Eric, same question, please. Uh, yeah, it was definitely a test for us, and uh, I just felt the patience of, from from uh, the whole and the entire coaching staff. They 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 understood. We, we talked about this earlier, but they understood the process for us to to get where we needed to be to, to be a successful team. But we did change a lot of things going into the season, so. Um, I think it, it was a it was a time where we uh, had to find ourselves a little bit as a, as a group, but also personally. I think it was my toughest start in my career, uh, in 12, 13 years as a, as a pro for combined the Sweden years. So it was definitely a test, but it, it, it feels even better when you turn it around and uh, good things start to happen. So um, yeah, it, it's been a, a great ride so far. Especially the second half of the season, it's been a lot of fun to be around the guys. That's for sure. Let's go front and we'll go with Yeoman and our final thing. When you're standing in the net as the clock ticks on down and there's three seconds left and it finally goes down to zero, what's going through your head after being so close two years ago losing to the Devils? Um. Yeah, when, when it's only two, three seconds left and you realize you did it, you know, it, it's it's an unbelievable feeling. You know? Um, what took us there is, is the entire team really stepped up the key moments throughout the year, but especially in the playoffs, and it makes it even more um, special, I feel like, when, when you have four lines uh, stepping up in, in different times and, um, and just doing it together. That, that's what it's all about, and, and um, everybody feels like they're playing a big part, and I think that's that's a big thing when you, when you, when you play, play in the playoffs and, and Go through ups and downs to, to to make sure everybody feels like they're, you know, they're, they're bringing something to the table here. And that's been the case, and, and that's why we're playing the final. I think. You uh, our questions for Henrik. Uh, what would you tell to the young kid across the night as you were facing uh, this series and you gave it quite a, a good? Yeah, he played. Uh, he played really well. He he looked very confident. It's not easy to get from, you know, when they put you in that spot, um, but. Um, I didn't know much about him when he came in playing here, but you have to expect you know, any goalie that comes in and play um, at this level that they're, they're going to be good. You know, they, they, they're going to help the team, and, and uh, he definitely uh, kept them in, in a lot of the games. So for me, it, you know, I try to challenge myself and, and try to be better. But he he, he was really good. Uh, but tonight, I, I don't think I'd be more determined to win a hockey game. To, to put ourselves in, in a spot where we can play for the cup that's uh, extremely special. I've been there for nine years and my first year, so 
I'm extremely proud of how we did it and uh, to be in, in, in this spot. Um, sorry again, Henrik, but I mentioned your focus that you just referred to uh, for tonight's game. Can you describe what the last 48 hours have been like for you uh, leading up to this game? It's been tough. Um, you think a lot and uh, you know, going into the playoffs you talked about um, it is a roller coaster mentally. You have so many highs but you also have a few lows where you're questioning a lot of things. Um, but then you just have to make up your mind. You, you can't have any excuses. You just have to go out there and, and I kept telling myself all day, believe in what you're doing. And I've been in that spot before, you know, I guess Philly you get pulled and uh, you have a tough game. Um, but you just have to stay confident and, and you know, I didn't have to do much to you. Um, the guys played so great, but you still have to be uh, in the right place mentally to make the few saves, you know, the, the shots I had to face. But, um, it's definitely a test mentally when you play a game like that. And, and in the position you're in, you have so much to to lose, but also so much to win. So you, you just have to uh, look at it the right way. Brad, you brought in obviously aside from the skill level that you bring, but for your leadership, and it hasn't you know never been more evident than the second half of this season. What was it um, that you sensed in this locker room that you needed to step forward and be the voice in that room? Well, I think you know it comes with the territory of uh, the amount of years I've been in the league. Um, um, the role you have in a team, you always recognize that, and uh, I think we know that I didn't get brought in here just to, you know, I, I brought in more than just to, you know, on the outside. I, I had some experience, um, but I think you know when you when you uh, lose Cali, um, who's you know who was our captain, and um, you know you, you gotta recognize when the room needs things, and uh, you know. Um, I said, you know, when you're in the when you're in the league, and you just you just kind of know, um, you know, you get a feel for the locker room, and uh, I think uh, you know it's been uh, it's been a, a good challenge for me to, to try to help out that way. How much of a feeling of accomplishment is there versus there's still more to accomplish? Well, I, I think uh, it's a great night, um, but we've already talked about as a group that you know uh, we'll, we'll feel good for couple of days because we actually know that we're not playing until Wednesday um, but it, it's uh, it's something that you feel good but you got to keep in the back of your mind that um, this isn't the ultimate goal um, it's an amazing achievement to be able to play for the cup um, but uh, you know it doesn't come around in these two and a half weeks so go by real quick and you, you don't want to you don't want to you know get caught behind uh, to start the series and, and that uh, that's the mental focus that we got to keep we got to stay sharp and uh, uh, I know it sounds crazy next Wednesday but you, you can't let it slip uh, we got to be ready and better than we better than we were tonight in game one um, to try to get into the series quickly Brad, some of the guys um, said that you instructed them not to to touch the Prince Wales trophy, just what was the super system uh, process? Well, you? I just, you know, uh, Marty and I have been there. Uh, Kars, you know, unfortunately just wasn't dressed, um, so we didn't put his opinion in, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> no one else is uh, dressed that's been there, and uh, uh, we we just felt we, we won it without touching it, and uh, it was instructed that way uh, when we won. Uh, you know, if, if half the team was there, and maybe we would have had more debate on the ice, but uh, <laughs> there wasn't much of a debate. We're not doing it, so that's where we went with it. All right, I'll we'll try to get everybody set, and then we'll go in the back. So the like, emotion that, that you guys have obviously played with between Mark and Tom and Tom to, for him to be the one that gets that goal, what's the feeling of the one? I, I mean, you know, it, it's uh, there's been quite a few storylines. Uh, this year, and those two are obviously big ones. And uh, I, I think uh, as you go through runs, uh, for some reason, that's just the way the way things go with teams that go through runs. There always seems to be little things that you you can grab and build on, and uh, that's what makes it so special to win a Stanley Cup. Is uh, you know, so many things you go through. Um, you know, it, it stars off to align, and 
you know, it's it's great that those guys, uh, you know, they have a feeling of someone's watching over them and uh, helping them out through this. Let's take two more Renault back. Brad, uh, can you talk about walking in that Stanley Cup final with a guy like uh, Martin Saint Louis that you <coughs> did win a Stanley Cup within ten, ten years ago, and now uh, you're back together here in New York? Yeah, I'll be honest. It's hard to believe. Uh, you know, ten years goes by so quick, and uh, we were just talking about. You know, uh, we definitely thought we'd be back after winning in Tampa, and then you know the lockout and all that stuff happened. Salary cap, and uh, it just didn't. Team didn't stay together too long, and uh, never would have thought we would be here today in New York doing it. And uh, even to start the season, I never imagined Marty being here. So the fact that all that has come back, and uh, you know. Um, it's uh, you know it's, it's it's great. We've we've created so many friendships uh, this year. Our group has come together so much. But uh, obviously, Marty and I go back a long way, and, and uh, we don't want it to be about us. But it's still a pretty cool feeling. Okay, last one in the back. Go ahead. Thank you. Both, you could please answer this. Um, we have a number of days off between now and Game One of the Stanley Cup Finals. Are you worried about the six days rest in between? Um, no. It's going to be good for us to get a couple of days to um, recharge. And I think mentally too to you know let it sink in a little bit and, and enjoy it for a day or two. But then you start preparing for the next challenge, and um, you know it's it's going to be a great challenge. We're going to play against a really good team, and, um, and it's about just for us in, in the room to remind each other that this is such a special moment that you have to grab it, you have to make sure you're ready and, and, and play your absolute best because you're not going to get that many opportunities. I've been in for nine years, it's my first final and uh, now it's all about preparing the right way and uh, try to leave it all out there. Okay. Yeah, hi. <laughs> 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 okay. Same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys.